The ability to find players in the late rounds of the draft can change the course of a franchise's history. Here are five potential late round steals from Russia in the class of 2024. First up, we have Ilya Poutov, a highly skilled offensive forward who had a great season with Krasnaya Armia this year. Poutov uses a combination of elite hands and quick feet to create tons of chances for himself and his teammates each game. His timing is terrific. He makes great reads of the ice in front of him and takes advantage of small openings with quick passes, deeks, and cuts towards the middle lane, unafraid to attack opponents head on. He is constantly in motion and is able to consistently find good ice to make himself a scoring threat. If the option gets taken away, he is immediately on the hunt for the next best spot. Most of the negatives around Poutov stem from his lack of size. He is going to need to increase his motor significantly in order to play at the next level, as he often backs out of battles and could definitely improve his forecheck effort. Another issue I've noticed is the lack of ability to create true separation with his feet consistently. He has some speed and is more than able to create space with his hands, but not enough to make me think that he could really succeed in the NHL. I have been very impressed with Poutov's ability to process the game quickly and use his skill to create countless opportunities every time he steps on the ice. I have some concerns with the fact that he lacks many of the traits for an undersized player to become successful at the next level, but he is a player that is well worth the risk as a late round selection. Roman Shahrin is a tall, lanky, smooth skating two-way defenseman with the potential to become a skilled puck rush option at the next level. He is very agile and able to pull off creative combinations of moves to walk the line and activate deep into the offensive zone with possession. He pulls off hard stops and starts to avoid pressure and can quickly accelerate into space. Roman has improved a ton over the last two seasons, but there is still a lot to work on. The mental side of his game does not match his skill level at all. He is still very poor with decision making, especially under pressure, rushing passes and attempting to force plays that aren't really there. There have been small glimpses of good decisions with the puck, but without the space and time to make a choice, he has not been able to effectively pick an option in a timely manner. He is also going to need to improve his defensive play as well. He is constantly watching and needs to do a much better job of clearing the net front and actively shutting down lanes with his stick. His play style and movements remind me a lot of a lower quality Mikhail Sergachev, but he has a long way to go before coming close to reaching Sergei's level. I expect him to go sometime between the late second round and the fourth round of this year's draft. Fyodor Avramov is a 6'3", crafty winger who put up solid numbers in his draft year with Capitan of the MHL. He has a bit of an awkward stride but can generate some good speed when rushing up ice and can pull off some agile turns around opponents at times. Throughout this season, he has shown off impressive flashes of quick hands and high-end playmaking ability but lacks consistency. At times, he pulls off skilled dangles past opponents and is able to create lanes to set up teammates around the net, but still has a lot of trouble beating opponents 1v1 and working his way through high pressure situations. Avramov uses his size well in all three zones. He finishes checks hard, uses his body to power through opponents on his way to the net, and protects the puck well with his body under pressure. Avramov still has a long way to go in his development. He is going to need to improve his decision making under pressure so that he doesn't throw pucks away, simplify his moves in 1v1 situations, and improve his skating form. He has a long way to go but could be a steal if he works hard in his development for the next few seasons. Out of all the players in this video, Matvey Koratki is the most likely to have an NHL future in my opinion. Koratki is an extremely quick, skilled, and hardworking forward that doesn't back down from difficult situations. He plays with a ton of energy and has an extremely high work rate which allows him to be effective in all three zones. He is calm in all situations and is able to make smart decisions on the fly to work the puck towards the cage for scoring chances. His production hasn't been amazing but I mainly attribute that to the fact that he did not get many top 6 minutes with Ska this year. He flies up ice with confidence when the puck is on his stick and battles his way inside for chances on goal with a combination of power and skilled hands. He forechecks incredibly hard, finishing his checks and digging until he wins possession. He is great on retrievals and is almost always first to lose pucks. Another trait that couldn't be ignored was the energy that he brought to each game and his ability to swing momentum with big plays. Whether it was a clutch goal, a big hit, a fight, or a cocky selly, Matvey is always up to the task and is not afraid of difficult situations. 
He is going to need to learn to smooth out his game and generate offense more consistently on his own, but the effort, pace, energy, and flashes of skill that he has shown all season make me very excited about his future. He doesn't seem to be on many rankings, so it is unclear if he will be drafted, but I think he could become a major steal if selected in a late round. Finally, we have Metalurg defenseman Alexander Sarotsky. Sarotsky is a crafty offensive defenseman with smooth edge work and some good playmaking potential. A majority of the time, he is very calm with the puck on his stick, using a combination of head fakes, hard stops, and quick hands to escape incoming pressure and complete crisp passes up ice. He has shown the ability to rush coast to coast and chooses opportune moments to headman the puck while in transition. He walks the line well using smooth footwork and pivots to draw opponents one direction before cutting hard into space or setting up teammates on the far side for one-time opportunities. He will need to improve the timing of his passes as he often holds on to the puck for far too long or misses targets due to rush choices, but he has shown impressive playmaking potential that just lacks consistency. Defensively, he is very passive. He does not put as much effort into his D-zone play as he does on offense. I caught him watching often and he gave up numerous chances due to lack of scans around the net. He will need to become much more proactive in his own end and show a bit more effort when attempting to win back possession. Sarotsky is an impressive offensive defenseman that will need some work to improve his decision making as well as his defensive effort, but he is well worth the risk and could potentially become an elite offensive defenseman. Thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you think of these players and if you think I missed anyone in the comments below. Make sure to check out my website medvedprospect.com for full in-depth scouting reports and follow me on Twitter at medvedprospect. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.